All right, guys, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we just got finished dealing with Deke and learning how to use the knapsack to catch beasts. Um, on this one, we're probably going to see on a couple more side quests or main quests. I feel like, I feel like main quests. I think we're back to that now. Um, so let's just dive right in. See, I took my jacket off on this one. I wanted to. It'll be a little bit formal on this one, you know what I mean? For the scarf. Close, you can see my face again. Um, Alright, so we left. Divination class, actually. Um, why do you get down? You just fall on the ladder. I didn't see the ladder at first. Um, but yeah, um, The divination class was pretty cool. What's we got that spell. Huh? What is this? Wait, the oh, there's a lot of them, yeah. Dude, I, I kind of want to go back and fight, but I know I'll probably get my butt kicked. Like, it is so many of them over there. It's at least, like... I counted eight or nine. But that's four right there. Not to mention they can see me. Are you even trying? All right, let's try it out. There's talk of. You get that combo. There's a lot now. You're slippery. Careful now. I hate doing incendio because it's never like as close as you need it to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe not too bad. Check it out. Could probably uh finish the rest of them. But I gotta get used to you and I need to con contort over the other fire stuff. Oh! You'll feel that tomorrow. Did you hit me with the uh, Abracadabra? I was about to say, what? So, I, mean, I don't even know that, so. Oh, it was catching me in my soul. She keep hitting me with the Zondo. Let's trip it to that. You will not survive. Let me That was it. Thank you very much. No one to share in my victory. Man, if they come out with a multiplayer for this, man, we will be wrecking havoc in this thing. I already have two friends that have this, and well, a friend and a cousin, and we already talking about this should be multiplayer in this thing because it's like it's so much to do. Oh, it's a lot of her. A Peruvian instant darkness powder. What? It's only in the air. This powder from Peru creates an imp and impenetrable darkness isn't a resistant to most light creation spells the ash winder have you been using it to steal from the surrounding areas without detection oh. 
hear that? Ah, you're the one who released Petrel, aren't you? That was a mistake, my friend. I'm pretty sure he's gonna see me. I've seen you, Jewel. Don't do that. Look at that. I'm still in the thing where I never take off. You try to catch me, I'm already caught in it. Well, she can't hit me. Where's she going at? I am fighting three for three. You go up here. That was a pretty high jump. I don't know why I couldn't get up there. Before I take it into my head to do something that will give you a real look of pain. Love you, sir. The walk up combo. Love you, sir. You should never have come here, Give it back. Descend. 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 Gotta be careful, I could die here. You see, it don't work on everybody. I gotta watch out for the head divot against Katara's people. No, you don't, apparently. I could not roll out the way. Okay. Oh, she broke a little living dead down there. That's what she did. I'm tired of you too. Oh, I couldn't move. I'm so tired of it. Anybody else? I see it's three more outside of, of our village. We'll go fight there. Long range combo. No, don't. Expelliarmus. Look at you, that ass one there, bro. Someone get me down! It's out! Descender! I couldn't actually see what it said. I'm trying to see what what you've done to helpless beasts. I was trying to see, like, you know, what it. Here we like, are. Wasn't it? Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't oh, the fastest the... Gryffindor. Hello, Amelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. 
No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally. A decent challenge. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm roaring. I'm roaring and I'm ready, baby. Like we're going the same speed. Oh, get down in the ring. Oh, my broom deck is wiggy. See that thing that popped up in the corner? What was that? Out to the building? Uh. Close, but not close enough. Restrike penalty. I'd say that was acceptable. I missed that one too. That did pretty good, actually. Uh -huh. Brilliant. I missed the penalty. Even with the penalty, actually. 216, I would have said 224. Have you in there, baby? She can't say nothing about that. Yeah, Melda. Now what? Yeah, Melda. Do. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. I'm pretty sure a couple of months on. Another successful flight. Yeah. Should let Mr. Weeks know. I mean, I'm pretty sure people came back after they beat the zone and that's for actually real people all right let's go see uh sebastian can't go over the mountains it's not yet oh, another camp oh it's a goblin guy. It's the student from the town. To learn the error of your way, Revelio. You've been a bad of a fight. Let's run this up. The Felcroft Well. The well in Felcroft ran dry some 400 years ago during a great drought. Sadly, many perished as a result, including at least one young boy who fathers refused. Refuse to speak years thereafter. Legend says that all was saved when a group of benevolent witches and wizards used a never before seen powerful magic to restore the water to region. Restore water to the region, sorry. 
I was kind of excited once I seen that part because that's kind of one of those places that uh we seen at the beginning when we looked into that uh that basin. Uh, I forget to get the name of it, but one of the first ancient uh memories we had, ancient power memories, and this is what they were talking. I mean, this is what this is talking about. Who lives here? All right. You made it. I've been here since last night, bro. What happened? Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. I mean, don't you want to walk in first? Or should I just walk in? Aha! Sebastian, where did you... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. I mean, what? What kind of curse is that? I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he died for. No, I gotta go back inside, apparently. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. 
I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Anything else up? Okay. A letter to a sister from Sebastian. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Now, the reason why I kind of split decisions there was because, if anything, you shouldn't, the person that's actually going through the problem, you shouldn't want to. Like, you never know what the outcome it, it could be. You know, so you shouldn't... I always feel like you can give them hope, but it's like... Always better to be straight with them, because you never know what it possibly Why could will be. Why will she not listen to me? She's and more then with the dad is more... Or uncle, rather. is more like... He'll be the strict one, because he's already trying to accept the fate. Where the younger one, like Sebastian here... Is trying to still fight, you know? How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Mm, Randolph's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been doing something. So I had ran. Well, I was running out of time, so I figured I'd cut to the next episode. Um, so welcome back. And we're following Sebastian to the spot where Anne was cursed at. Maybe we can find some more details about what happened. I feel like it's definitely a good chance that we can heal her. Up I hope there, it is anyway. On that plateau is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. 
It's an honor to be a part of it. Dead wizard in my book. How nice. Can I'm a leaping with this. What's going on? Confess, that was a bit more than I'd bargained for. I yeah, tried to warn you. Wasn't well, too bad. I just feel like they always. They, well, I feel like I was gonna attack in the middle of my like spells. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It sounds as if the Loyalists attacked Anne without cause. I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. Okay. So, it's right here. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists.
Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hmm. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. I wonder if this is Percival's house. Because this is about close enough to be the spot where well, we already know that this is a spot that legend says they came and you know re rewatered the town or re you know flooded the town however you want to say it brought water back to the town this well looks familiar probably picked them up or something sebastian i've seen this before this house the well the view what do you mean when give me a moment I'll explain in a second. Yeah, see, this is his house. He must have came here and set up shop. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Why is something far away? Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Like it wasn't Someone a coincidence that we came here. For a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Levioso. <laughs> Levioso. Revelio. Brother, what a pot is blowing up to me. Is it not? Or is it just my imagination? Huh, a stairwell. A stairwell? Oh, snap. A fog or water? Like fog. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. Lumos. They've left all of this simply strewn about. And devil's there. Tells me they're after something bigger. Is it or more Organon Journal 207? Why though? Alright, so this is one of seven. It was my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. Mogul doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can do for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. The fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastation sorrow, 
the devastating sorrow remains. I saw the man much like my father who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I beg to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help those souls or these souls. It seems as an arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of the torment. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. That's two of seven. I travel here to learn, but I've longed to help. My internal struggle, my internal struggle is overwhelming. It is as though magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Shall I lose hope? Will I ever regret not have doing no more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could see, I could lessen the burden of a heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today. And the one who reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Hmm. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Porto. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I can see the undercroft from here. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it. And that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then. Invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. That should be interesting. I'm tempted yo. to hold my breath. All right, let's go to the undercroft. <laughs> Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Hmm. What's Why that? I wonder. Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Now, if I'm not mistaken, a triptych is a a three door art piece that tells uh, three parts of the story and normally uses a uh, altar piece. But again, why would one be here? And it's a diaphragm, a diagram. What exactly? I just see the I see the symbol for the you know the ancient magic, but all this other stuff on it. I wouldn't know. Anything helpful in the notes? No, 
No, no. Why don't you look at it? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar <coughs> Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Alright, guys. So that is a lot to take in, and my head's also a mess as well. For one... Right? Gryffindor and Slytherin working together. Who would have ever thought? 